Hey guys, I'm LP, and we are going to check out Open and Closed Door Policy by Nintendo Irk and Deathwish808. So the one by Nintendo Irk is Open Door Policy, the door is open. Alright, let's go check it out. Oh man, let's uh, let's, let's use two times speed just cause uh, I don't want to walk around so much. And this is in case we get trapped down here, good good good. Oops, come on. <laughs> Alright, so... Looks like we just want to do some fling stuff, I'm assuming. Oh, I could almost see the portal surface. Okay, let's do it over here then. So basically we just want to shoot the portal surface. I failed! Oh, it actually sounded like it hit for some reason. There we go. Okay, so what do we got going on over here? Hmm, seems like we need more height. Those lights at the top are suspicious. But maybe not, maybe not. Would this give us more height though, is the question. It doesn't look any higher than the other one. I don't see a way to do the refling thingy at all. I don't know, let's just try it. We'll find out, I guess. Do we have to be like holding forward into the black portal maybe? Okay. <laughs> That worked! I'm not quite sure how I did that, but I did do that, okay. Stairs. Always an essential part of a healthy breakfast. That is mm, way too high. How are we gonna do that? How are we going to do that? There's no way to, like, fall down through the glass here, right? And there's no way I'm gonna make a, a weird maneuver around into there. Maybe I could. That would be really tricky to pull off, though. How would I even set up the portals for that, though? There's nothing over here, right? Alright. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I don't entirely grasp how this will work. There's nothing else in here, looking up. Nothing I'm missing. I don't know. Not entirely sure what I'm doing. Unless I could do it there. Like, it would work, it would just be really... tricky. I need to- I need to turn sideways. Yeah, can't move forward backwards but you can move sideways pretty easily. Doesn't- doesn't seem like this is gonna work out the way... I want. Yeah, no. There's no way I can make it over- over to there, at all.
Huh. Now, I haven't played very many fling maps, so there's probably definitely some tricks that I just don't know. Yeah, there's no way... There is no way I can make... I can cross this boundary. Like, shoot up, and cross over here. That is not happening. And this is still only four high. It's like I need to find some weird way or something... ...to... ...do... ...that. But I don't... I don't see how. There's not a way to break the glass. Unless this was imported into Hammer or something, that would be weird. And I don't see a way... ...to get height here... ...without... ...losing this portal. Yeah, there's not- there's not much up there but stairs. Oh, well, gee, thanks, Steam. That- that definitely is a lot bigger than it was before. <laughs> well, actually, that's not Steam's fault. That's, uh, the Portal 2 editor only makes the images that big. All of these places are four high. And even though this- even though this back wall here goes pretty high, it doesn't actually... It's not useful, though, is what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna need a hint. Fumbled a bit before I saw the solution. Basic fling and air strafing techniques. Uh, see, air strafing is something I don't know how to do. I've heard that it's really easy, but I really don't understand how to do it. So it's probably is... what I was considering trying to do before. Let's- let's maybe... Let's try this again, perhaps. I want to see if I can hit my head on this to make it- the air strafing easier. Okay, so I've done that now. I've adjusted my height. Over here now. <laughs> what next? Maybe I want to be a little bit more over. Hmm. I feel like that's close. It's gotta be something like that, right? Yeah, because this is only four deep. How's that for style? <laughs> Let's try again.
Okay, now we gotta hit our heads again. Well, maybe we don't, but I don't think that we'll get enough speed unless we do hit our heads. <laughs> I- <laughs> I held- I held left too early. Okay, let's get this set up again. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I hit my head. At this point, I'm just gonna load... Well, I hit quick save. I meant to load quick save. <laughs> oh well. It's not too much of a, a, a deal. Alright. Once again. Okay, hit my head. And then... Okay. Nope. F7. I definitely need to come out facing more to the right at an angle if I'm gonna make this work. What if I don't even need to bother with the hit my head thing, first of all? So let's face this way. No. Hmm. What is the best way to do this? You know what? I wanna. I'm gonna practice air strafing real quick, because I've never done it. How exactly does it work? Not like that. I felt like I went further. But maybe it's just because I, I no-clipped. Uh, let's just, uh... Here, let me do this. I'll place this here. And then, we'll jump into it, like normal. Like, I- like... Something I'm not quite understanding about airstrike is like, do I need to press left and right, or do I just need to look left and right? I've never actually tried it. I know nothing about it. Okay, well, I seem to have been figuring out something, at least, so... Might as well go with that. And we'll see if we can make that work, the way I'm hoping it will work. Asbestos. Okay. Let's see. I think I do want to hit my head real quick. Oh my goodness! I did it! <laughs> okay, I did not know air strafing was that easy. That's literally the first time I've ever tried air strafing. Alright, now we get to do Deathwish's version, which I'm sure is much harder. 
Ooh. And we will read the description right after the map loads. Alright, Closed Door Policy by Deathwish808. A simple fling map sequel to Nintendo.Irk's Open Door Policy. Extra credit, bring the companion cube to the exit! Hey! He's taken after me. Read this before playing! You should push the button that's high up on the wall in the middle before pushing the button behind the fizzler. If not, then you'll have to do a tricky fling combo to be able to push it. Up to you. Well, alright then. The one that's up high on the wall in the middle, before the one behind the fizzler. Let's get started. Alright. Yep, duh. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Also, that's aim assisted. But, can I... Oh, there's a way to just walk into the, the portal. I've done it before on accident. Or I just want to land up here. Which way is this thing facing? Well, that was almost it. Come <laughs> on, I just want to stand in the portal, please. Don't normally have so much trouble with it. Okay, so that's the one we want to hit first, right? Oh, then why am I making this so complicated? Maybe that's not THE one we went hit first, but still. Oh my goodness. What am I doing with my life? There we go. There we go. There we go. That's all I wanted to do from the beginning. Oh, <laughs> this is what I wanted to do. Oh my gosh, I'm- this is exactly what I wanted to do. Alright. So basically... Oh my gosh! I hate how these things aim assist for you. That's, uh, that's gonna be really annoying to deal with. It didn't quite turn out how I was hoping. I want a way to be moving forward. Oh, I got an air strafe right. Okay. So, air strafe it is. Fine. How- what? There's- you can just shoot the portal under yourself and it will magically work itself out? Wow. <laughs> Okay, well that was not at all what I was trying to go for. Hang on, how do I do this thing where I shoot it and it magically works itself out? Okay, it must be precise then. Whatever. That... Oh my gosh, how am I gonna master the timing on this? I don't even know if that's what I'm... I can hear you laughing. I can see you smiling. I think this is the most overcomplicated I've ever made a puzzle before. Holy crap, what the heck am I doing? Oh, wow. Why did I do it like that? I'm so <laughs> embarrassed. <laughs> Oh, man. That is staying in the video. Jeez. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm- nobody's ever gonna let me live that one down. Alright. 
Okay, that's the one we have to press first, apparently. Oh, okay. I think I made a map to practice exactly this. Oh, well, except that didn't quite work out how I was hoping. Right, right, because, yeah, whatever. What does this one do, exactly? So the one behind the fizzler we want to hit second, but this one we can just go ahead and hit now, right? Oh, What do we have there? Oh, it's deeper, okay. Well, in that case... Really? Really? Alright, I'll... I guess this is it. And... Button. Alright. So that did the fizzlers. Oh, I bet this light bridge gets turned on by the button behind the fizzlers. Huh, it must be possible to do without this then. Alright, let's try this again. Oop, almost sent me into the wrong portal there. So we're up here now. What is the purpose of this? Also, that looks really weird. Also, is- is glass normally slippery like this? I think I've noticed this in other maps, that glass is just slippery for some reason. Might be a B-Mod thing. Hmm... Well, I did land right there. Am I supposed to use that to, like, change my angle or something? Would that shoot me out backwards or something? Weird. Also, I love that lighting you did there, Deathwish. That is really cool. <laughs> also, what's that for? Okay, well, we're up here now, so maybe we could... I'll save, and then push it. Oh, okay, okay. Fair enough. And then we just can't Infinifling anymore with, uh... Because the light bridge. Yep, light bridge. Okay, apparently don't jump. Hey! <laughs> Second try! Alright, so... The companion cube. I think basically it's the same idea, but we just have to get a little bit higher. Not sure how, though. <laughs> what? Okay, that was weird. What if I fell from this high instead? Okay, no, that's- that's definitely not it. How did I... I did some weird stuff, and I'm getting weird results the more I try. <laughs> the ability to jump really... and crouch really changes the way you can do momentum in this game. It's really... strange. Look at that! That sends me so much higher! But... I feel like if I did that just right... Like, oh, that's still... If I shot the portal a little bit ahead of myself, maybe it would've... worked. It's kinda on. Hey, 
still not high enough. I feel like I would hit my head on the ceiling if I did whatever needed to be done. That definitely seems like that's how I'm supposed to do that, but that doesn't seem like it's possible. Yeah, that- that definitely sends me a lot higher, but it also definitely doesn't work. It might just be a matter of placing the portal just right. Maybe I have to air strafe or hold forward or something? I don't know. Oh well. Let's, uh, we've got the exit open. Let's just get out of here. Let's see, so... For the exit, exit... We just want to use that, I suppose. Oh, that's not too hard. Oh, I don't think I've even tried this, by the way. What happens if I jump from here? Yet another different thing. There's like multiple ways to do this here. Yeah, that's that's definitely too fast and not enough for that. What if I jumped from the top of this? Oops, come on. I wanna there we go. Oh man, that's different. I want to try that. Oh wow, what? <laughs> what the heck happened there? That hit me into the ceiling. I would have made it if the ceiling were higher. Try this again. Nope, just that again. Alright, let's get out of here for real this time. Funneled me. This game. I wasn't even pressing any directions, and it funneled me. How does this sometimes work and sometimes not? That that is really weird to me. Also, I felt like I was gonna go too short there. Oh yeah, that's too short. About from here. Fine, I'll do it from up here instead. Alright, let's try this. Don't funnel, don't funnel! Funnel. Hey, That... worked somehow? What was... what? Alright then. 
<laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, the momentum physics in this game aren't perfect, or they're very sensitive, or whatever. <laughs> Alright, well, as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. These are some cool maps, and I will see you all in the next episode. And don't forget, you can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video that look like these right here. Goodbye!